Oh, is that Abadongo? It might be. I think I see him hiding behind some monitors. Plays, of course, one of a myriad of DKs that we saw at Congo Saga over the weekend. Yeah, so I I did go up to T and talk to him because I know I, I always see that hat he has. Oh my goodness, oh a flip my. kick already. And that was seven seconds, zero to death. Kuro already establishing dominance. All right, well, let's talk about this match because this seems a far more interesting. Kuro... Uh, popping off here, taking that stock super early. I can't think of any stronger way to make a statement than that. What a play to begin this. And he's already making himself known in neutral as well. Platform trapping. Yeah, DK, of course, super huge, super susceptible to those kinds of jank. Or not jank, but just uh, combos. You know, that huge target leaves him open. I almost feel like uh, large characters in this game are what fast ballers are in... Uh, you know, earlier Smash games. Yeah, they very much could be not only the weight, but also the hitbox size, and that DK Copter has to be thanking his lucky stars that Kuro wasn't in position to punish that harder. Yeah, small, uh, bigger characters actually get, I mean, sorry, fast fallers actually get out of some combos at lower percents just because they hit the ground and they're able to recover so much quicker. But as a heavy character in this game, you just get hit so hard. Your disadvantage is so bad. Goes high to avoid the down smash and not gonna be jumping this time just waiting for him to make the first move, and that boost kick is exactly what he was looking for. Well, Kuro knew he had an opening there, and he knew he had one move that was going to take that stock for sure, and that was that upbeat there. And he gets it again. I'm, I'm stunned. Kuro just has so much flashiness in his locker. He can pull out these flip kicks. He got him twice in game one, and if that's any, any indication on as to the player he is, he's going to be a threat to watch, not only tonight, but going forward into next season as well. Oh, definitely, yeah. If I'm players, I'm like, get me away from that ledge. I do not want to be anywhere near there. Uh, my stocks <laughs> have gone away very quickly, so I need to be careful. But And I may be thinking about a character switch, in fact, but uh, players is going to stick it out with the Donkey Kong. Old man Donkey Kong. Gray hair. The white and gray DK yeah. is going to be here Boomer to stay. Boomer DK. They're going to be moving to town and city this time. Right. Oh my goodness. It doesn't get the spike hitbox there, but no, this is already looking really rough. Is oh, he I'll take him off the top? Okay, no. no. Well, the amount of risks that Kuro was able to take and the amount of times he was he had converted off them in game one. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for something like that again. Oh, he's going to get stretchered here. He's in a bad spot. Tries to get him with a down air there, but a play as recovers intelligently. That uh, raw back air, though, is going to send him off stage into the side B, and that will kill. Yeah, not fast falling at all. Just holding straight in. Actually falls out of the up smash, but... Plays isn't really waiting to recover. He's just using the DK copter from above the ledge, and that's what's been getting him in trouble so many times. That leaves you extra susceptible to the down smash if your copter is not meet with Kuro first. So if you play a lot of matches with someone, and sometimes you just get into that flow state where you just feel like you can do anything in the game. You can hit your opponent with anything. I feel like Kuro is just constantly in that state. Yeah, he's still <laughs> catching these high recoveries, and Place isn't really hanging back and charging the punch either. He's going in this with none of his tools on use. There we see him finally go for the charge punch instead of trying to chase it. Yeah, I mean, you talk about imposing your will in a game, and uh, okay, play is not going to get the kill right there. Another DK Copter, and Catch here's up. where we can see the start of a ladder combo. A ladder, but air dodges out of it and gets a stock, the dignity stock. Players can at least feel him good about himself and say to his friends, you know what, I took a stock off Kuro. Unable to punish that whiff up here, though. Side special. Good patience at the ledge as well and does get that trip. Okay, goes for the mix-up. Kuro ready for it. Although he is going to get buried in the yeah, full Yeah, see ya. Oh, no, DK living. And that is the plus side to playing a character such as DK, susceptible to extra heavy combos, but... You are going to be living for much longer. I'm sure that a midweight would have died there. Okay, that was... Apparently, um, Dash Attack beats that side B there, which is something I did not know. 